What's going on guys? JC back with you. Wanted to give you an update on this guy, the Blackberry Priv. Uh, so first things first, it is a great, absolutely great device. I'm really loving using this phone. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's so awesome. All right. So let's dive into it real quick. I want to give you a more, little more in-depth software overview of this guy. So real quick, it is running uh, Android. It is running Android. That is right. It is running uh, Lollipop. So it's a little unfortunate to see that it is running Lollipop uh, 5.1.1. But BlackBerry has promised that Marshmallow is coming. They've even started rolling it out to unlock devices bought directly from shopblackberry.com. This is an AT&T version that I bought through a uh, third-party website. So hopefully AT&T will get those tests done quickly and they will get uh, Marshmallow out to us. That is a There's a lot of stuff BlackBerry has put into the Marshmallow update, so I will have to do a whole other video on that because there's a ton of stuff coming out in that update. So you better believe as soon as I get it, I will tell you guys about it. But for now, let's go over Lollipop because Lollipop is actually still really, really good on this phone. They've done a lot of really cool improvements to make it better. Um, and so let's just dive in real quick. If you're familiar with stock Android, you will probably be pretty familiar with this, and you will probably love what they've done. Um, so real quick in the app drawer, um, at the top there, they, you can search through apps, widgets, and shortcuts, and they've included widgets and shortcuts right in the app drawer. So they've got a whole bunch of shortcuts for you that you can um, add a, a quick dial contact, you can speed dial somebody, you can instantly compose a BBM or a text message or an email or add to your calendar. There's a whole bunch of shortcuts in here that they've included, which is really, really cool to see. You can even go into the launcher settings directly from the app drawer. So you tap on the little setting icon up there and you can go directly into the launcher settings. It even allows you to directly search an icon pack on the Play Store. So that's really, really awesome because sometimes icons are just a little boring. But anyway, so that is uh, the start of that. Uh, and then real quick, just go. this is the AT&T version, like I said. So AT&T had a lot of apps on here that I've disabled. But real quick, let's go through BlackBerry's apps on what they include on here. So they include BBM, which is their messaging service. So if you use that a lot, then you'll be used to be happy with that, that it's on there. Um, and it's been out for Android and iOS for a while, but now it's actually built in there. Um, BlackBerry Help, so if you need help or anything. BlackBerry Hub. BlackBerry Hub is really, 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 really cool. I really like it. It kind of aggregates all of your email accounts, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your social media, Twitter accounts, text message, phone calls. It puts it all in one place and lets you access it all from one place. It's really, really cool and it works really, really well. Um, BlackBerry's got a calendar app in there. Uh, their camera is pretty good. Uh, so it, the camera's decent. It's an 18 megapixel camera. Takes pretty good pictures. Uh, it, you're not gonna be like in an art gallery or anything and selling the most amazing photos ever. Uh, but for social media, for Facebook, for emailing pictures of the kids to friends and family, it's gonna be really, really good. And it's gonna be great for that. Uh, their own contacts app, content transfer. So you got an iOS device, an Android device, whatever kind of phone you're coming from, this will allow you to transfer your content over. And it works pretty well, so I've been impressed with it. Device search. Device search is really, really cool. I'll get into it a little bit more in a second, but basically it allows you to search anything in the device um, and even instant actions. You can instantly just say text, say, hey, um, let's just go into it now, actually. So you can, you know, up here at the top, you can search through anything in the phone or you can instantly do an instant action like text somebody or email somebody. So that's really, really cool to see. Um, so device search is called DirecTV is an AT&T app that I couldn't disable or turn off because it was annoying. Uh, DTEC is kind of how they help you secure your phone. So one of BlackBerry's big pushes with the Priv is privacy um, and security. So they're saying that this is one of the most secure Android devices on the market. Um, and I would kind of agree with that. I mean, there's a lot that they put in here. But this is kind of a basic uh, rundown of how to protect the phone. Um, I removed the screen lock just for the video to make it a little bit easier for everybody. Um, but... This is a really cool way to help you secure your phone. So if you're really into security and you really want a phone that's secure, this is going to be the phone for you to check out um, on Android because it's it's really, really good at that. Uh, Yellow Pages, they've also included by default, uh, which is pretty cool if you still use Yellow Pages. So that's in there. Um, another thing they've included is Password Keeper. Password key it's really cool. So if you ever use 1Password or any other password manager system, that's what it'll do for you. You can input all your passwords for all your different websites and social media and bank accounts and everything. You can put it all in Password Keeper and it'll keep it all protected for you. So you only need to remember one password. That's kind of cool. So I like how that works. Uh, BlackBerry's got notes in there, a few other you know minor apps that are, you know aren't a major deal. Uh, but those are the ones I wanted to point out. Yahoo Finance is also included in there, which is pretty cool. So if you're into that. So those are pretty much most of BlackBerry's apps. 
A couple of other things I wanted to touch on is if you look on some of the apps here, you can see there's three dots. Why are those three dots there? I don't understand. Does that mean that's a special app? Well, kind of actually. So BlackBerry has built in what they call these uh, pop-up widgets, which is really cool. So for instance, if I come right over here to Android Central, you see it's got three dots right there. If I swipe up on the app, it'll bring up a pop-up widget which is really, really cool. And for some of them, you can customize. Some of them, you can pick which kind of pop-up widget you want. But this one, it'll show me all the latest articles on that website. And I can read them right here. It only loads, I think, maybe 15, 10 or 15 or so. But this is still really cool to see if you needed some quick information. Messenger, I can just swipe up on it. It'll show me all my messages. I can go right to my calendar. Um, it, on the Play Store, I can choose if I wanted to recommend me an app or if I wanted to show my recent apps. Chrome will show me my bookmarks, um, which is really cool. So that, that's that's a really cool feature that they built in called pop-up widgets. And it works really well. It works pretty well. Uh, so over here on the left-hand side, too, another thing I wanted to point out is BlackBerry has what they call a productivity tab. It's just a fancy name for kind of quick access stuff. So right there, if I swipe over from the left, this will bring me um, all the, the, the different stuff. So I've got my calendar here. So this is showing me my calendar. Then I've got messages. Then I've got tasks. And I've got contacts and stuff like that. So it'll show me all that really cool stuff, which is cool. Um, I can even add a contact directly from there. Or that's a calendar thing. Um, but this is customizable too. So I tap on the settings. I can change some of this stuff around. Um, so that's really cool. It's called the productivity tab. And that's really cool to see that from BlackBerry. That's a great thing. So, the, so good on that for BlackBerry. Thank you for doing that. So other than that, the last thing I wanted to touch on was the keyboard. So if I come in here, right, and I start typing a new message, all right, so I'm in text messaging and I'm creating a new message, right? So I come over here, and as you can see, the software keyboard has brought up the a few words up on top of these other words, or these letters. So all I have to do is I swipe up on the T, and it puts in the. How cool is that? So I come over here and put only, and then thing. And then I can just keep doing that all day long. But the other cool thing is it also works on the hardware keyboard. So I can come over here to the left, I can swipe up there, I can come over here to the right, I can swipe up there, I can swipe up in the middle, and it'll put all those words in there just instantaneously. And the prediction is actually pretty good. Another cool thing is if I double tap on the hardware keyboard, I don't click a letter, I just double tap quickly, it'll allow me to move the cursor. It becomes kind of a more selective thing. So I can come over here and I can delete that word if I don't want it. Boop, boop, boop. Done. So, so cool. So that's a really cool feature that BlackBerry's put into the Priv, which I really like, which I'm a big fan of. Um, lastly, the speaker down over here um, is pretty good, actually. So the sound mostly comes out over the left side over here, but underneath there is still the mic and the receiver and all that stuff. So, um, But it sounds really good. It gets plenty loud. The sound is great. It's not going to be amazing. It's not going to blow your mind, but it, it's good. It does what it's supposed to do, and it works well. So good on BlackBerry for that. Um, so, guys, that's just a quick... Uh, overview of the software on the BlackBerry Priv. Again, I'm really loving this phone. I'm really, really enjoying it. If you want uh, security, if you want good battery life, if you want uh, Android software that's also secure, that's really functional and that works really well, the BlackBerry Priv is going to be the one to get. Oh, and also it comes with a great hardware keyboard. Uh, one of my last favorite features too that I like is double tap to wake if it'll work for me. There we go, double tap to wake. So that's kind of cool. Um, so this is a great device. I'm really, really loving it. I think you guys are going to enjoy it too. Keep an update out. Uh, keep an eye out for an update on uh, Marshmallow when it drops. And I'm going to try to put some camera samples up on my Instagram page. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything you want to particularly see about the BlackBerry Priv, hit me up in the comments and I will get to you. Um, other than that, thanks guys and I will see you next time.